Hello everybody and welcome back to Prophets Gaming More Hearts of Iron 4. Kai Zurich playing as the Sultanate of Egypt. Currently kind of in uh, an unfortunate entrenched war here against Yemen. Which, it's really hilarious when I think about it, just the amount of stuff I've done in Hearts of Iron 4 over the course of the game, and yet here I am, stuck against a tiny nation like Yemen. But you know what? Desert Mountains, they are, uh, they are rough. So what I'm actually going to do with my fallback line is try to back up even further, really encourage the Yemenis to actually try to field in here, and if I can get them to spread their troops out, then I'll punch through this way and get a big encirclement. If that works the way that I intend it to, and if not, you know, we'll just sit back and not take attrition and try to get some guns together again, because... <laughs> I ain't got diddly freaking squat right about now. <sighs> there are so many ways I would play this campaign differently, now that I know some of the things that I do. Like, I kept going down the National Focus Tree for the reforms, hoping that at some point, especially as you get down further here, we'd see, like, some cool events happen, but it all is just popularity contests from your party. Like, once you get to Farouk's reforms to unlock the rest of these trees, the only thing that matters is getting up to the literacy program. Everything else, I don't really care that much about party popularity. It's just not that big a deal. Very, very disappointing. So I would have focused down a lot more of the industrial route and a lot more of the military route had I known that was going to be a huge issue. But, of course, I did not, so oh well. Now let's go ahead and pull the rest of these troops back. Let's see what they end up doing. Are they going to pull into the desert so that I can kill them? Probably not. Oh wait, hang on. I wanted to pull back this like that. Give them somewhere to kind of push through. What's this? Literature competition. Recently in Alexandria, there's been a literature competition that has attracted national attention due to the fact that the top two choices are noted writers and associates with Pharaonism and Islamist cultural movements. What do you frickin' know? It's the same two groups, again and again. Whom shall win the competition will galvanize the movement. Obviously, we will select the winner of the book ourselves. Sure, why not? It's the Pharaonist. You know, that's another thing that I think is a little bit disappointing so far with the Sultanate of Egypt rework, is uh, this whole Pharaonist Islamist thing, it's really not that big a deal. It really does not matter that much. It's kind of surprising. I thought it would matter a lot more than it actually did. We're going to pull you back. I can't quite pull back. Darn. Mm, okay. Well, I'm trying to give the Yemenis an excuse to actually just f pierce right through there, but we may be ceding ground for no actual gain. Uh, it is literally about to be 1942, so let's go for the extra 8% research speed. Now, are you going to push through? Yes, he is indeed falling for the trap. So we've got a little bit of an encirclement that potentially can happen here. We're just going to let him do what he's doing right now. No, 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 no. Back it up. Back it up. I don't care what he does. No. No. Stay put. No. I'm looking at you guys. Stay where you freaking are. No. Annoying little buggers. All of you, hold. Thank you. Okay. So he moved some of his troops out over here. He's moving more into this area. That's good. Uh, with my assault divisions, we might actually be able to pierce through right over here. If we're quick, we might actually be able to get a quick encirclement in this area. That would be ideal. He is falling for the trap and going further into the desert, which is my natural uh, domain. Red Sea Ports is done. Good. Uh, we could go for the dockyards of Alexandria for the extra naval dockyards down that away. That will lead to the electrification program, which is only a 55% research bonus. And then we have to go for things like Hollywood on the Nile, which is more political power that I just don't intend on using. We haven't had a lot of uses for little uh, political power this game, have we? I'm accustomed to being able to just, you know, pierce through and beat the snot out of folks. Hang on. Here's a little encirclement opportunity right here, if we can. I'm going to pin you... And pin you, and then use you guys to pin here, and if we can kill this guy real quick, which we should be able to, we've just trapped like seven of his uh, troops, and he's going to die. Perfect. Okay, let's have all of you guys attack here. I want you guys to pierce through like this, if at all possible. Okay. Wait. Sorry. Cavalry, you gotta go follow up. Let's get that encirclement going. We pinned him down nicely. He's not going anywhere. He's not gonna have any supply. He's out, sort of, but he came right back in. Now he's gone. Okay, so he just managed to trap down a bunch of his troops with no supplies in the desert. Which means killing him is going to be easy. 
Uh, we didn't exactly get the full encirclement, I suppose. But we can always just repeat the exact same trick, right? And he'll be none the wiser. Yeah, alright. Well, that does definitely make my life a lot easier. Um, how are we doing over here? Let's see. Attacking from multiple areas, we have the uh, decryption advantage. His organization is being depleted pretty quickly. We could probably have at least a few guys attacking from another direction, reinforcing some more. Now, the one big downside is my um, offensive divisions. Yeah, they do some serious damage. They also run out of organization very quickly, which I find to be highly unfortunate. All right, you guys are going to attack from a multi-vector over here. The rest of you guys go here. I'm just trying to keep these guys pinned for the moment. Okay, let's have one of you guys just run in here and grab that real quick. I just want to keep these guys pinned so I can get around. Like, if we're quick, we can make this work. Keep attacking. Get rid of that organization. Get him down. He shouldn't have a lot left. We killed, like, half his army. I think. Uh, yeah, we killed, like, half his army. He's got, like, nothing left. Okay. Well, one very clever maneuver. Stupid AI equals much victory for me. Uh, if we can do that, and if not, then let's have at least a couple of you guys circle around this way. He's trying to counterattack. Doesn't appear that it is working very well for him. Let's do this. Hang on, I need you guys to pin these guys down. Don't let them go anywhere. Uh, would like to get at least one of you coming around over here. Since he can't actually defend this area, we might be able to just sneak around for an encirclement this way, even if we can't pierce through the mountains. Let's see, still lacking in a little bit of the uh, rubber. That's fine. We've got a couple more... Civilian factories going through, that's great. Then we'll focus on some more uh, military factories so we can start producing things that I care about. How are we doing in terms of equipment? Oh gosh, the artillery and stuff. Uh, yeah, losing a lot of that efficiency value hurt for a while, but now it's just the attrition that's killing me. Alright. Uh, how are you doing? When are you going to get over here? You're pretty slow, you know? Why aren't you guys pierce pinning him down? Why is his cavalry still able to get out of here? I guess he's retreating. Uh, we're winning too soundly. Ah! Okay, help him out. Well, we're going to get through here and encircle these guys now. Not quite as nice as getting the furl encirclement over here, and we still have a bit of a bottleneck, but... This counts for something. Okay, now you guys are going to go through here. Just counterattack now that he's exhausted himself. Uh, you guys, looks like you've already finished them off. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and reassign some troops back down here. Hang on. Attack. Attack. Okay, we're able to break through here. Looks like we're able to get around the mountains, finally. Nope, it's more mountains. Gosh dang it, Yemen is all freaking mountains! Ah! <laughs> uh, this is taking way longer than it ought to. I'm semi-embarrassed. Semi-embarrassed by how long it is taking. We can get a new trait, though. Infantry uh, attack? Sure. Charismatic offensive doctrine? Ooh. I mean, it's hard to say I don't like the organization loss from moving reduction. Also a plus one attack. But, I actually think that the infantry division attack is stronger in this case. If we're going to take up one of his slots, a 10% bonus is going to be better than like a 2.5%. Yeah, more organization retention is nice. It is good. But I do think that this is the better call. That's right. Keep, keep running in here. You've got no entrenchment to speak of. Keep running in here. Let me kill you. Come on. Flood through. Okay, he's trying to counterattack here. No thank you. We'll counterattack you. You're gone. Get down here towards Sana. You guys head over this way. Alright, we should have these mountains under my control shortly. Again, he is trying to attack me, but that's not going to work out well since he's got no organization and no entrenchment. Dockyards of Alexandria are done. Electrification or Hollywood on the Nile? I guess we'll go for the electric uh, Hollywood on the Nile. Get that st uh, stability. It's not like we really need the electronics boost right now. Nice though it is. 
Uh, the primary reason I think of that is I'm already working on the research increase with advanced computing machine, and that's the primary reason I would have gone for the um, for the electronics research bonus, is to get that faster. So, yeah, doesn't really matter that much to me. Uh, organization here still sucks. We are not killing very quickly over here, but at least we are able to fully entrap his army. Let me go ahead and just take one of you and have you go ahead and circle through and count, conquer all of that. Everyone else? Yeah, just go ahead and redeploy yourselves along here, and then we'll kind of circle through it. I suspect he's going to give us a hard time conquering Sana. Light tanks are done. The fall of New Delhi still was the capital of a divided India, and divided it falls. How amusing. Could go for some tanks, which I will do. We're about to finish Infiltration Assault, which reduces my supply consumption, which does make my life a little bit easier. Might as well go for the better light tanks. Okay, Infiltration Assault is done. Uh, land tonight attack. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make progress on that. How best to deal with Sauna? I obviously would rather just kill it outright rather than encircle it because that will be the primary source of supplies in mountains. And if there's anything I learned from trying to conquer Mexico City in a previous campaign, it's that sometimes that doesn't work very well and can be very, very painful. So we're going to try to just conquer Sauna outright with sheer numbers. The reinforce value should ensure that we are constantly beating him down. So we can just keep cycling in more troops as needed. I really think I need to get rid of these cavalry. They're not that good. I'd rather have motorized, but I haven't researched any of that yet. I don't necessarily want to force you to go back to the capital. Got to be careful about this. I mean, yeah, obviously more surrounds can help a little bit with the combat bonus, but still. How are we doing in terms of air superiority? We do have that advantage, so that is nice. We have almost burned through his militia. Nepal capitulates in some totally separate war thing. Stop him. Do not let him reinforce in his capital. Once we get that, he should be dead. Okay, we got all of those done. Now, I'm very concerned that we have provoked the German Empire and that they are going to want to kill me soon. Highly concerned about that. They still hate me a little bit, but they don't hate me an absolute ton. I'm going to go ahead and spend some political power just to try and improve relations. I don't think it's going to make a massive difference, but we'll try. It may not make any difference at all, but what am I doing with this political power? We're heading toward that cap anyway. Might as well. Keep attacking. We're at 98%. Almost got him down. Look at that beautiful organization fall. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Nope, no. Attack. Why'd you stop? Get him. Got it. Got it. Okay, that should be no reinforcements. We're getting into Sana, and he is very dead. All of his reinforcements are here in a den, but I suspect he's not going to have enough victory points to make that work. Capitulation of Yemen. Thank you. Done. We see some equipment, which will hopefully help a little bit. Let's go ahead and start getting some reinforcements down here against uh, Ethiopia. Now, I could potentially go for a naval invasion. We do have that capability. I don't have naval supremacy here right now. Do you have any ships? You have convoys, definitely. You have potentially six ships. I think I could get the naval dominance. What are the odds that I can make this work? Where is this port? Is this an island? Oh, that's a totally separate province right here. Aha! Uh -huh. Asmara. Okay. Where else could I go, though? We could go ahead and attack in Somalia and attack from another direction. And that might help, but I think I'd like to try to do a naval invasion of Asmara. Land ten divisions over here, you know what I mean? It might work. If we're able to do that, that would be a pretty good surround. It would really throw him for a loop. We can attack him from the other side of the mountains. Or possibly make a run down to uh, Gondar and Addis Ababa. Potentially. We do have to deal with the annexation of Yemen eventually. Might as well do it now. I'm not going to liberate them. I'm just going to go ahead and take them. Mine now. Give me all them factories. 
We're up to 59 now. Uh, I mean, it's an improvement. Russian Republic declares war on Armenia? Wait a minute. Wasn't that a part of a faction? Uh, the Golestan Pact. So, wait. Iran is now at war with Russia. Ooh. I sense opportunities to murder the Iran. They didn't join my faction. They kept their own faction. So, this actually seems like a very good opportunity. We should go ahead and research this. Or research? Justify this. In fact, it's enough of an opportunity that I'm debating saying, screw this whole Abyssinia thing, let's go kill Iran. What's Ethiopia going to do to me? Nothing. Ethiopia's not going to do a thing. But Iran. Iran's got the goods. If we were to come through here with my attack divisions and push directly to Tehran, that would go well, right? As long as they're distracted against the Russians, I don't think there's a lot they can do. Try for something like that? Maybe. Now, how are my guns doing? Okay, we're actually starting... No, we're not even close to catching up. Why am I making so few artillery? What is going on there? No, that's because it's reinforcing. I am out of steel, however. We definitely want to get some more of that. Hang on. Hey, Japan, can you help me out? Thank you. Okay, we're producing 8.81 per day. We're actually kind of close to the cap. We are producing some more military factories. So that's going to improve slightly as time goes on. Hollywood on the Nile, about to be done. A little bit more base stability for me, thank you. Egyptian radio for electronics and stuff. Electrification, head toward that new uh, research slot. At some point we can get some new... Well, we can get something called, uh, div no, wait, spiriting economy? We can get rid of developing economy. Uh. Well, these do the same things. So it doesn't really matter what that does. What's developing economy again? There it is. Production efficiency cap, consumer goods, factory output. Yeah, I mean, getting rid of that would be nice. Okay, Iran is starting to bring some troops back down here. The Italian Empire has declared war on the Italian Republic. They're trying to consolidate their lands. A sensible thing to do, I suppose. Uh, my princess waifu, um, I need to kill your brethren because they decided not to join the Cairo Pact. If they had joined the Cairo Pact, I would have let them live. But they decided to form their own thing, which I cannot allow. And good news, they have a bunch of factories and not a ton of troops, as far as I can tell. More than me, certainly. But a ton? No. And with the Russians attacking from the north... We have a pretty good opportunity to take a lot. He is, of course, now sending all these troops down here because he senses the danger. But they're not going to have a ton of time to entrench. We only have, like, a month before we're fully justified. And he's only got four, which means the southern border down here toward Baghdad is completely open right now. If we can go fast, there's nothing he can do. Now, I am surprised how low our manpower is currently, considering. Uh, is there something I can do, by the way? Instead of Mauser, like, could I change out... For a different infantry equipment that lets me produce it faster? Looks like the answer to that is no. And I don't care about towed artillery anymore. Well, I say that. Hang on. Yes, I do. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm thinking of the wrong thing in my head. Towed artillery is not just this QF 18-pounder. It's all of these. That separates it from rocket artillery or self-propelled artillery. Right, right, right. Should have thought of that. Yeah, all right, Iran. You've got five troops on the border now. How, many more, how much more can you do? The more you pull off to deal with me, the more that Russia's going to be able to deal with you. And Russia has a pretty good number of troops, it turns out. So, yeah. Kingdom of Siam, look at you. What'd you do, buddy? Holy crap. Okay, yeah, well done. Siam, powerhouse. Ooh, Egypt is intrigued. I'm going to kill Iran. If I can get all their production, I will absolutely field so many more guns and go and freaking murder Turkey. How are we doing on tanks? We got 141 right now. We are so low on everything that I'm currently using, though. The attrition has been murderous. Finland declares war on the Norwegian state. Norway exists? Sure enough, it does. Huh. They're national populists, like the Swedes. All right. Never saw that coming. And they are indeed pulling more troops down here to entrench. 
Justification is done. That means we should go now. And I'm actually going to tell you guys to be aggressive. I know you're fighting not at full strength. But before they have a chance to entrench, this is when you want to attack. Yeah, his organization's super low. Armenia is coming into war. That's fine. I don't care. I just want you guys moving as fast as you can through the desert. We fight well in deserts. We don't use tons. Uh, we don't take a ton of attrition in deserts. At least compared to a lot of our enemies. So freaking heck, get in there. Get to Tehran. Make them capitulate. I want to have all the war participation. I want to take all the land. All right. All right. I think we understand each other. We got Mosul. We're heading up toward Baghdad. He's sort of putting up a bit of a fight. But yeah, we're not giving him a chance to entrench. We're pushing the advantage. This is good. This is what you want to do. Once you break through, you want to just keep pushing until they can't go anywhere else and they just die. Abd al-Rahman al-Mahdi speech. The Sudanese leader has given a speech in front of thousands of the need for Sudan to become strong and powerful. Uh-oh. Throughout his speech, he made references to his father, Muhammad Ahmad, whom began the Mahdist War, and in particular emphasized his role as the Mahdi. While he is not so far called for independence, many are flocking to his call to make Sudan strong. Some within the court whisper that it is only a matter of time before he tries to declare independence. Uh, it would be a problem for me if Sudan tried to declare independence. Definitely would not approve of that action. We are making some good, strong pushes here right now. Baghdad appears to be wide open. Troops should be getting in there right now. This is where having the organization loss reduction is nice, so you can push faster. But at least for the moment, we're okay. So, like, this guy's taking 48% attrition. I mean, yeah, he's just running for it. The Italian Republic has been annexed by the Italian Empire. Congratulations. You want to fight the French Republic? I think you should do it. Frankly, that's my only hope. If the Germans decide to attack the Cairo Pact, we're doomed. If they decide they want to fight the Entente, which I really, really hope they do, uh, that would be great. We'll be in a really good position to just ignore the Germans for a bit longer. But there's no guarantee that it's going to work out that way. Looks like Baghdad is currently having some problems. We'll throw in a bit more artillery. Serbia declares war on Albania. Oh no, not my allies, quote-unquote. Uh, let's see. It'll be fun as to develop nukes. That'd be fun. That'd be real fun. Uh, more guns? Uh, maybe. Heart attack and piercing and such. Probably should research those using the research bonus just so we can get, uh, start building up our efficiency again faster. Okay, we're starting to have some problems as we run into them in the mountains. I mean, so far we're able to push them back, but we're having a little trouble. And there it is. Sudan declares independence. Sudan bows to no one but God. Play as Sudan. And we immediately declare war on them. Oh, come the heck on. Okay, well, this is incredibly bad timing. I need to pull these guys back. We don't have the equipment to fight two wars right now. <sighs> Alright. South Sudan tribes refuse to join the revolt. Claim lost by Sultanate of Egypt. State is now a core of us again. And we got two... Tribal militias. Okay. Good. Let's see if we can use that in some way. I don't know what we can do with it, but let's try. If we're quick, we might be able to respond to this and force them to back off. Ah. Alright, you guys all hold. Stop attacking. Just get in position and entrench for a minute. We're in a bad position here. We weren't quite able to get in there. That's fine. Ignore that. All right, Egyptian radio. Cool. Guess I'll have you guys join up with Orange for a little bit. Come on, Light Blue. Get in there faster. Only thing you're good at. I would definitely like to at least take Baghdad and cross the river. Especially since we're already so close to having it. Let's just make sure that we're flanking enough here that we definitely get it. There we go. Okay. 
At the very least, taking Baghdad is what I would consider a victory. I think we stole like a single factory out of that, but there you go. War propaganda, not that we really need it, so this wouldn't do me any good. But whatever, it's not like I need the... What am I trying to say? It's not like I need the political power for anything else anyway. Albania capitulates to Serbia. Could have seen that coming. Alright, guys. Run in there. Do not let him keep these ports. We do not have much in the way of uh, organization, so... Gotta be at least mildly cautious. He's got mostly troops down here to the south, which kind of leaves his capital wide open. I mean, if I can get down here, like, freaking do it. We'll go down a little bit down, uh, a few different paths down here, just to make sure we control the entire eastern front. These militia alone are going to distract them, it looks like. Which I find very convenient. Uh, Sudan's not uh, going to last too long, I don't think. I hope, I pray. Let's see. Let's have you come over here and help. Fighting in the mountains is not exactly a good time. <sighs> My organization is just so bad with these guys. This is one of the reasons I don't usually do four artillery divisions and infantry. This was kind of a new experiment for me. And it's sort of worked. It's also sort of been a pain. But it does look like he mostly just has weak militia units, so as long as we get in here with a reasonable amount of organization, we're going to be fine. Yeah, he's pushing down to my southern area here. Apparently this is also part of Sudan. Which I guess they did say that the southern Sudan, uh, Sudanese tribes refused to join the rebellion, so that's great. Let's make sure we kill this guy. We're pushing down there, only a couple of provinces away, we're going to take that airbase. Let's see, you're fine. You come through here and pin him down. Pushing around the mountains, still grabbing the port off of Port Sudan. Hold tight for a second, thank you. Okay, he's not got anything. Now we should be getting down to his capital. Serbia took some states, Bulgaria took a state, Austria took a state, the Kingdom of Greece was annexed as well. Oh! -hoo! Okay, Serbia grows a lot stronger. So is this just a random event here, or did somebody have a national focus to destabilize me? Ethiopia, was this your doing? Did you do this? Did you do that? Bad dog. Bad lion of Judah. I don't know what you are. Alright, get in there, grab that capital. Grab it, grab it, make the Sudanese capitulate. Iran doesn't still have a whole lot going on. We are almost out of manpower, shockingly. Alright, we're going to go for the extensive conscription law. Part of the problem is we did lose a lot of cores down here. We'll certainly help to get this back. Medium tank research is done. Sweet. Let me go ahead and research a better one. Do I need this right now? No, but I'm doing it anyway. Capitulate. Dang it. Fine, go here. Should have capitulated, dang it. Um, if we can push against Iran, I guess do it. We're starting to catch up on infantry equipment, at least. Looks like Russia is pushing in pretty well from the north. I'll let them do these attacks. If they can win some of them, awesome. Almost at Sinar. Come on, get it. Oh, come on, faster, just get in there. Alright, is that it? Are they dead? Thank you. All right. Civil war done. Everyone else back to the front line. Get up here. Go. All right. Progress. Freaking civil war dealt with. That was mostly painless. Hey, look, free factories. Cool. Uh, we're producing a lot of light tanks all of a sudden. I'm going to go ahead and start producing some medium tanks. But mostly, I think we need to get more artillery and more support equipment. Start producing some of these. I'm okay with producing at least a few light tanks. Because while it's going to take me a while to get these uh, medium tank divisions up and running, at the very least, I could start putting together some light tank divisions. And that's at least a reasonable amount of breakthrough. 
would certainly help. We have a good number of factories all of a sudden, so we're finally respectable in what we're able to produce, and that is an awesome turn of events. All right, light blue's getting up here quickly. Uh, orange, you see an opportunity? I say take it. I don't see a lot of opportunities so far. Sweden takes over Finland. Uh, yeah, I guess Sweden was defending Norway. In fact, Norway was probably their vassal now that I think about it. Okay, um, yeah, we are so far behind in other equipment, though. Good lord. This is proving more than a little bit tricky. Russian Republic declares war on Maklik over here. Yeah, the Republic's growing quite large. You guys are just leading suicide attacks, so stop hitting there. Reinforce if you can. This is a bad attack, so don't do it. Egypt victory. Today we have defeated the Mahdi's for a second time. Victory is ours. A bunch of places are apparently no longer cores of Sudan. Long live Egypt. Gain back some of our base stability. Okay, so we weather that storm pretty nicely. Tripolitania, by the way, has been renamed to Libya, I just noticed. We should call them to arms. Not that they have much to offer. Credit where it's due. But they do have seven troops, and uh, at this point, every little bit might help. Handling the rebels, be merciful or be harsh? I guess we'll be merciful. I don't need political power. Base stability is nice, though. Egyptian radio is done. And we can go for the extra research slot, which I guess I will do. Maybe if we had modernized Sudan first, we would have been able to get that. I don't know. Manpower jumps right back up, having finally conquered the Sudan back. That's awesome. Where do you guys... I guess you guys have to head all the way up here, don't you? Even if you are just weak little militias. Alright. So my armies are feeling relatively confident about their chances to push. We did just develop some new guns. I'm going to go for some extra breakthrough value. Expeditionary forces? By all means, send me more. I'm not going to upgrade the infantry equipment yet. Because I need to be producing a lot more guns. It's not necessarily about quality of guns. It's about quantity of guns right now. Go ahead and toss you guys over there. But we will come back to that later. In the meantime, for the love of God, please produce some more artillery and support equipment. I'm begging you. You don't understand. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.